Hello and welcome today, everybody. It's your boy Skirt, Skirt, aka Revitalized Kicks. Shout out to RKG, the Revitalized Kicks gang, man. Y'all know what time it is. So today, it's a little different. One, if I'm talking funny, I got a man in my mouth. But two, you see, I'm in a different spot. I'm at my friend, Mr. KOF's house, because we, I'm going to be helping him record some videos and we're going to be doing a lot of editing tonight and all that. So anyways, um, Today I thought I'd bring y'all my essentials that I need when painting shoes. I forgot how many there is. So what I did was pre-record that and now I'm recording this and I'll pop everything up on screen because I had to hurry up and get to his house. So anyways, let me just get straight into it. So um, this is in no like particular order. One thing I absolutely need is my earpods. My earpods, oh my god, my earpods are fire. I love my earpods because when I'm painting shoes, I put my earpods in and I'm locked in. So I used to um paint shoes with the wired headphones and when I would paint, my hand would sometimes get on it or I paint the wire with paint by accident and just stuff like that or it fall out my ear and the wire get everywhere and it just, I don't know, it wasn't as convenient and stuff like that. So my wireless earpods, I love them and they last like a good while. I'm not gonna lie, my earpods last me like four hours when I'm painting shoes they barely ever die. The only time my AirPods die is when I'm painting shoes. Or you could even have one in your ear, have one in the case because the case charges it even when it's not on the charger. The case automatically charges it so I could listen to music with one ear and paint. So that's that. Love my AirPods. Need them. They are an essential. Did that make sense? They are an essential. All right. Next up, we got my iPad, bro. I know it's seeming like this video is sponsored by Apple right now, but it's not. But um, my iPad, I love my iPad because my iPad, um, it got this cool little case on it. And with the case, I can um, flip it up and I can watch something. So like I said, my AirPods barely ever die. But when my AirPods die or sometimes when I don't feel like using the AirPods because it does get annoying having earbuds in your ear. I set my iPad up and I watch a TV show or um, there's an app called Crunchyroll and it's free anime. I watch stuff on that. All you got to do is um, watch the ads on it. But yeah, it's free. So I download Crunchyroll. I'll watch like Attack on Titan. You watch Naruto. Any type of anime you want on it or YouTube. So what I would do is throw that on or Hulu or Netflix on my iPad. And I'll just watch something while I paint the shoes. You know, not something that I really care too much to watch. But I'll just be chilling while I'm using it and also my case has my um Apple Pencil with Procreate which I wish I used more but I don't use it as much but my iPad I need it and I love watching TV on my iPad while watching you get what I'm saying watching my iPad while I paint shoes another thing I cannot live without is my markers oh my god I get so many messages about the markers and the reason why I don't like to answer about the markers is just because bro the paint markers bro if you watch all my videos or if you like watch videos people watch one video and then be like yo what is that like yo just watch the videos you're gonna find out I showed me going to Walmart in one video getting the paint marker exactly what it looked like and the price it was like 198 or 280 or something like that the mark the paint markers are like two dollars each there's ultra fine paint markers and fine tip paint mar markers. The ultra fine is obviously thinner, but I wish they had an even thinner one. But bro, they're like two or three dollars. My previous paint marker that I used to use a while ago, that one is like, bro, nothing on the new one because it costs way more. It was like twenty dollars I paid for it, and you had to like refill it all the time. This one, you just go straight to Walmart and get it, and they have all types of colors, all types of sizes. You probably even order online. And they're called like painters, paint markers, and stuff like that. So that is another thing I love. And also, I'll link everything down in, this, in the description below. So hopefully, you guys are done asking me about the paint markers. And yeah, another thing I absolutely cannot live without is my airbrush machine. The airbrush gun and airbu airbrush um, compressor. Actually, Angelus actually has like a mini one that they have on um, their site and you can use it and it comes with a gun and everything. I don't know the exact price on it, but you can use the link down below in the description if you want to purchase it, of course. And 
if you want to purchase paint then use the link down below in the description help your boy out and yeah so um i love my angelus paint and the airbrush gun bro you need an airbrush gun like once you actually learn how to use it because to paint a shoe like just to paint a shoe like all red like just the upper and the base you know like the leather part on the Air Force One. If you wanted to paint it all red, no lie, you will have to do multiple, multiple coats. And it, it'll take a few hours. It'll take like, at, at the very least, it's taking one hour or two hours just to paint it red. And certain colors like yellow, if you're painting a uh, yellow on an Air Force One, bro, it's going to take you forever because yellow does not pop up right away. And then like purple, their purple acts a little funny too. I'm not gonna lie, and gold, oh my god. If you're painting a shoe all gold, don't even don't even use a paintbrush, bro. Don't even think about it. Just cancel it. It's not working. But anyways, yeah, so with the airbrush gun like yellow, it'll take I swear, bro, it'll feel like it takes infinity coats. But you use the airbrush gun, you put the uh paint in it and boom, it'll like stick and all you need is like two coats max well three coats max and you can do airbrush coats fast because they dry pretty quick just make sure you don't put too much at a time but the airbrush gun it'll save you hours worth of work you can fade colors you can make lightning you can use stencils with it and be like clean and crispy and everything just make sure you tape everything good so the airbrush machine is an absolute must have and mine is just a cheap central pneumatic or a central pneumatic I don't know if the P is silent but the gun is like twenty dollars that's why in videos I always have a hard time using it and then the airbrush compressor um that was like hundred and fifteen dollars and it's actually like a big one my girlfriend bought it only thing about that compressor it makes a lot of noise but it works phenomenal but the gun it does mess up a lot um but it's only twenty dollars bro come on bro what can you expect you paint the shoe you make money buy yourself a good one for like $150 after you paint a few shoes so that is something I absolutely need and cannot live without when painting shoes all right last but not least something I need is um you know how you got the box lights it brightens it up well I don't know if you guys can see but sometimes you can see there's like a pole in the back sometimes when I um record the pole is from the light box which it'll be on the screen well it's a light ring it's a ring it goes and then it also holds up the camera on it and then like i flip it down so that's how i get the angle that shoots straight down of the shoes and i'll show you guys a clip of like it shooting straight down i love that angle bro the angle is clean because you can see exactly what's happening straight down but i like to switch angles and get side angles and stuff like that but that perfect and the light works so it adds more light straight directly down but you cannot go wrong with it bro so anyways yes um that's about it those are things like when i customize shoes i make sure i have those things around i need my straight down shot i need my ear pods my ipad um my airbrush gun with the little paper i use and also um my uh dirty uh what's it called shirt that I always use, it's like, what did they call it in art class? A schmock or something like that? Yeah, it's like a dirty art shirt that is just dirty. I lay it on the table so I don't paint all over the table, even though my table is like super like dirty and it got paint all over it because I just painted for so many years on it and spilled paint on it and stuff like that. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Um, Hope you guys like this um this isn't like tips and tricks it's just things like if you were to paint shoes you would probably want these because it could get boring just sitting there painting shoes and silence and stuff like that so you know keep some things around keep you occupied um you enjoy painting your shoes enjoy your time but thank you for watching do me a favor if you enjoyed this video hit that like button comment down below and uh check the description if you want to purchase anything and i'm out peace Rizzy is hot as fuck.